Welcome back. This is Natasha with Spirit Animals Art, and this is part two of Needle Felting the Elephant Shrew. I wasn't sure if I was going to do tiny little toes this time, but I thought, why not? It's a good way to demonstrate how I like to do it. I've done it several different ways, and this right here is what I've done for the small ones. So I've already began on one armature and just see, look through Google and look for the feet on these little ones and you'll see that three toes on the front. There is another little toe kind of toward the back of the front but it can't really be seen that well so we're not going to create that. On the back you can see four toes. And I'll show you later kind of how they're set up. The middle toe is longer and it kind of goes around. The front toes are pretty even. Front three toes. So doing those right straight across works well. The back feet are a little bit trickier. They're all different. So today we're going to work on putting on the wire and putting on the tape. So what you'll need is some florist tape, a ruler, wire cutters, and I'm using 26 gauge crafting wire. I do believe that I got this one at Walmart, but they also sell this type of thing at Hobby Lobby and Michaels. And so just for ease, I went ahead and I'm cutting four pieces about a foot long. That way I don't have to keep cutting the two front feet, it'll be a little longer because there's not as many toes, but it's fine. There's plenty of wire. So we have our four wires. And these wires are really thin. You can also get covered, really thin covered wires, which would make this much easier, but I'm using supplies that would be easy to come by. So we're just gonna use this wire here. It is a little fiddly, just letting you know. Be patient. Work in small doses if you need to. So I did find this picture with a skeleton with the toe bones. And so I just made it the same size as my armature and that way I can kind of see what we've got going here see the front feet and the back feet. So you want just little small loops to begin with. If you have more than what's shown here, I would go ahead and cut that off a little bit and, and make it smaller because it's kind of like the pad of the foot and we don't need that much we're making these toes so it's it's going to kind of extend that foot out a little bit so you just start wrapping down the leg and here in a minute I'm going to show a method okay so I have this nice tool I got from Serafina Fiber Art it's made of wood it's called the digit widget this is the face ace. You could also use something like this if it was the right length. So my toes on the front, I'm going to need about a half of an inch. So on the digit widget, there is a tier that's about that size, but not everybody has a digit widget. So I'm going to show you how you could make your own little toe maker 
just out of a simple piece of cardboard. So basically our two sizes we're going to need is the half inch and the biggest toe on the back foot is about an inch. Each toe is just a, a tad smaller than that so that's the two sizes we're going to make. So I'm just going to measure out a half inch, bring it down some and then I will measure out a full inch. some surface to work with and then I just take some strong scissors and cut the cardboard out and voila there you have it so I'm picking my wire back up I'm gonna restart this leg so you just wrap down the leg a little bit just to secure it. And I left my loop a little bit open, that way I could just tuck the wire in there. And I'm just going to wrap around this cardboard. And I'm threading it back through the loop. There's the second toe. And because I left the loop open, I'm just putting it inside there. And the third toe. This cardboard is just making it so the toes are nice and even and it holds it there for you so that you can pull it tight. This wire is super thin so it's almost like working with a thread. So I just hold my toes, spreading them out, making sure they're pretty even. Looks good. So I'm going to begin wrapping this wire right back up the leg. And I'm going to trim off the excess wire. So you'll need some little pliers. The pliers that are my favorite for this, I not sure where I stashed them. So I'm using the larger pair. They're not my favorites. So it would be good to have your tools all set out and ready to go so you don't have to go searching for things, but that's just me. I'm not super organized most of the time, so you do spend a little time looking for things at times. So you just grasp the wire with your pliers and you just twist. So I'm to get it nice and twisted together and then pinch the end. This end is going to be your claw, so you don't want the loop there, you want that to be closed. little pliers that are flat on the inside so they're a little slippery that's why they're not my favorites to use the smaller ones are also flat on the inside but they're smaller so they're a little easier I would recommend getting a little jewelry kit that has all of the different pliers in there makes it really good for making a travel bag Pinching that shut.
So you want your toes to be pretty even. If one's a little bit longer than the other, don't worry about that too much because we can adjust that after we've taped. Cutting off the excess wire. Okay, so we have one front leg and I would recommend doing one side and then immediately doing the other side to match them up before you do the back. But here I'm going to demonstrate the back because um, I'm only going to work on the one side on camera. I'll do the other side off camera so we can begin the next step in the next video. Okay, so I'm doing just like I did with the front, wrapping it down the leg. And I'm going to make that longest toe first because all the other toes are going to be slightly shorter than that longest toe. And it's about an inch. The first toe is a little shorter, the third toe is a little shorter, and the fourth toe is quite a bit shorter. So I'm going to use my template here. Remember we did the biggest side is the one inch. And it's going to look gigantic, but don't worry because as we wrap it, the end will be the claw, the other part will be the toes, and then the last part will be wrapping together as the foot. So it'll all come together and look correct in the end. And like I said before, on certain features that are oversized on an animal, if you uh, exaggerate it a little and make it a little bit longer, a little bit bigger, that just helps bring attention to that being a prominent feature of that animal. So longer legs, longer toes, those things, if they're known for that sort of thing, if you make it even a little bit longer, that just helps to carry that uh, the way it's seen. It helps convey that message. Sometimes if everything is in perfect proportion, then it, it might not look, um, it'll look good, it's just that uh, when you see a caricature of someone, even though things are way blown out of proportion, you can still tell who that is because the features that you recognize. So it's kind of the same, only we're not overly exaggerating, we're only slightly exaggerating for these small sculptures if that makes sense. I'm sure there's a better way to explain that, but I think you get the drift of what I'm saying. All right, so they, the longest toe, we did that one first, and then I did the outer toe, which is going to be a little bit shorter. Now I'm doing the third to toe, which is pretty much in line with the first toe and take your time on this don't get in a rush it is fiddly you will get your wire tangled up you might get your fingers tangled up don't worry take a break between feet if you need to threading that through there and I have to be a little careful because I don't have the cardboard there to keep me from pulling it out just checking my toes, seeing how they look. That looks pretty good. And if you have a template to compare it to, you can draw yourself a template 
or if you might can find the same one that I found online and scale it to your model. Okay, so just remember on these back feet, that longest toe is your second toe. And before you even twist, I would go ahead and make the second back foot. That way, if you need to make any adjustments, it's easier to do before you've twisted. So again, I'm just gently twisting. Twisting it down just to make a nice, make the two wires into one wire. And a little loop will be on the end and we're just going to close that by pinching it off in the end. And I think what we'll do on these, after we get them wrapped, probably in the next video, I will go ahead and put the glue or Mod Podge on the ends of the nails. There won't be a ton of nails sticking out, they'll just be a little bit, so we'll go ahead and cover that before we put the wool on. Just get that out of the way. Double checking the size. Like I said, I would do that second foot. Do all four feet in the wire. Make sure you're happy with how they look. If you have a template, line it up. Kind of get a feel for how it's going to be. Now's the time to change anything if you need to change it. So if you feel like you totally are unhappy with your toes, then cut it off and start over. It takes a little practice. Don't get frustrated. All right, now we're ready for tape. I like to use brown, but you could also use white if that's what you have. You could even use green if you just went to the grocery store or to Walmart or somewhere and all they had was green. You could use that and you could take a brown or a black Sharpie and color those nails on the end. Because that's really the only part that we're going to see. So I just get a small amount and just realize that whatever portion you pull off, it's going to double, maybe triple when you pull it. So to activate florist tape, just grab each end and you gently stretch it and it becomes really gooey and sticky. And for such small toes, I am going to cut down the middle. So just get a pair of sharp scissors, split that tape in half, I tried to wrap it with the full size tape and it was just too much to work with so it's much easier with these nice thin strips. It's much harder to work on a small project than it is a bigger one so like I said just take your time. Just begin wrapping on the leg. And when I get down to where the toes begin, then I'll start wrapping down one of the toes. I usually start with the outside toe. I'm not sure if I always start with the same toe or not. Um, 
It's just whatever feels right, I guess. Wherever my tape ends up. So basically, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get a good view here. It's really hard to get this wire and the focusing of the camera. I do have to say I like using my Fuji as the webcam much better than the webcam though. I have to figure out how to keep it from wanting to focus every millisecond though. Okay, so you wrap it down to the end of the toe. You want to make sure that that wire is covered on the end. You don't want to leave that wire peeking out. So you're going to go a little bit further down and when you go back up you're going to angle back up and then you're going to want to twist in the same direction as your wrap and when you do that it sticks to itself. See the wire was peeking out, coming all the way to the end, angling back down, twisting it. And these are super, super thin. But if you look at pictures of this little elephant shrew, their nails are really super thin. So the toes will get thicker when we wrap them with the wool, but the nails are going to stay nice and thin. So basically, you just keep doing that. You just do that for every little toe. And then you begin wrapping back up the leg, covering that little foot pad. We'll do that for the front feet, and we'll do that for the back feet. Once you're satisfied with that, then we'll be ready to begin. Uh, we'll glue the little nails and then we'll be ready to begin putting the wool on. So basically the rest of this video is just me wrapping these back feet.
So before the next video, I'm going to finish wrapping all of the claws. I'm going to really pay attention to the ends, um, wrapping all the toes. Um, I'm going to pay attention to the ends because that's the claws, making sure they are shaped the way I like them since that's the part that's going to be showing as the tape, the rest of the tape will be covered up in wool. And in the next video, I will show how to put the glue on and then we will begin putting the wool on. It's a lot of work doing tiny little details, but it is very rewarding in the end because it really gives the piece a lot of character. We could have just uh, put some wool on the ends and made the resemblance of toes, but I think this is really going to be a lot nicer. Who doesn't love cute little toes and claws? Thank you guys so much for watching and go ahead and hit that subscribe button so I can make more videos and let me know what you think. Thanks so much until next time.